So this is the fifth update on my custom BioCube 29 sump project. The sump is hooked up and running with the tank. It's been running for about 24 hours. I've been spending that time trying to dial in everything, getting the flows right, uh, trying to make it quiet. I think I did a pretty good job with the overflow, trying to silence it. I did have a little bit of an issue with the overflow box when I first kicked everything on. I was getting a little bit of a drip. It turns out the, uh, the intuitive way that you would put this together with the gaskets is not accurate. The uh, third gasket needs to be between the overflow box and the glass. So straighten that out, haven't had any leaks or any problems with it. Um, this thing is kind of loud. The eShops Eclipse overflow box is kind of loud on its own. So I've made some modifications first. Um, I will make that permanent. That's just uh, um, fabbed into place uh, at the moment. Um, mock up to get the water level where I want. The slots on the eShops overflow is r are really long and uh, it was uh, one not bringing the level up to where I wanted when it was operating and when I had the pump off for feedings it was dropping the water level way too low. So I did that and it's been working out pretty good. <clears throat> Made a bunch of mod some additions to the inside too. There's two layers of egg crate in there in a um, in a uh, upside down U or arch fashion and uh, one in the back that's a little bit taller one in the front that's a little bit shorter which has helped silence all that and I cut out this piece of plastic um, to go over the top I did arch it a little bit so in emergencies it will still flow over there oh in there I checked it last night by uh, stopping up a couple of the inlets and it still worked just fine on the inside I had to make a couple modifications, additions. I put in a piece of glass right here to help divert this current coming in um, down the sides. And I put in a piece of filter material on the top that uh, I cut out some places for the air bubbles to escape. All this is in an effort to prevent it from siphoning, or not siphoning, but uh, vortexing air bubbles down into the, uh, the return line or the overflow line. But that has worked really well. This is really quiet. Um, the biggest noise you're hearing right now is the air pump that I've got running because my sump's not active right now, or my uh, skimmer's not active. So I'm going to kill that. And that's the noise you're looking at. Now my phone is going to do funny things because it's going to adjust audio levels. Um, the loudest thing going on right now is the refugium light. And uh, I just got it on right now because I was going to show off the sump and everything. Obviously, since the main display is on, the refugium would typically be off off at this point. Um, but right now, it, it is on to check it out and show flow. Everything's working out as I hoped. Chato's turning. Water flow is really good. Starting to get a really good, a really healthy uh, copepod population in here. Um, I did uh, put this FRP on the inside of the door so that when it's closed I reflect more of that light back in. Anytime that light hits a black surface it gets turned into heat. As long as I'm bouncing it around it'll hopefully eventually find the Chato or some other surface to dissipate onto. So I got that ironed out. <clears throat> got my hole drilled in there for all my services to come in and out and then in addition I built this thing. It's not finished yet but uh, that'll sit alongside the tank and uh, house my top off my five gallon top off bucket and then uh, plumbing is all dialed in and tied in it's still loose I've got mounting points in position to lock sorry to lock all this down when I'm finished just being super super uh, conservative about um, leaks and stuff like that so I'm not turning the tank back against the wall until I'm absolutely sure everything is dialed in perfectly uh, the flow can't believe it it's it's perfect um, you may not see a whole lot of movement other than with the, like the frog spawn but the flow is almost perfect I'm actually cycling more water through this than I was with the two 300 gallons per hour high door pumps that I had in the back of the BioCube in its stock configuration. Because this water coming into here is not under pressure. It's just flowing in so you don't get the crazy current and blowing everything around. But I still get the flow I'm looking for. 
I'm still getting the the travel through the sump like I want, but just not getting all the the crazy disturbance that I was getting with the uh, high doors being under pressure. So it's been about ideal. I mean, you can't see the frog spawn is really the only real tell that the water is moving. Um, I mean, you can see the Duncans kind of bouncing around, but the actual water flow through there, if you look into the back, you can see how much water is actually flowing through there. So everything's been working out so far. Fish are really happy. <clears throat> Corals have been coming out. The, uh, the audio level in the actual tank has plummeted because there's not really any pumps in there other than I do still have the reactor pump back in the corner running the reactor on the other side of the tank. Um, it'll be like that until I actually turn it back and I can hook the reactor up to this uh, outlet right there. But uh, the audio level in the tank has just plummeted, so that's really cool. But uh, really happy with everything so far. It's been a ton of work and a ton of mess and uh, still not completely done, but it's with the exception of the skimmer not running in the bottom and the heat, heat uh, the heater still being up here and little stuff like that. I, I think I'm in really, really good shape. I think I'll leave it here for another 24 hours or so and then, uh, then I'll move everything back into position. One of the really awesome things is with that that DC motor that I've got in there now, that DC pump, temperatures. Uh, I haven't seen the fans kick on since I turned on the sump. By fan, I mean my cooling fan that's up there running off the uh, temperature controller. The only thing I ever see is the temperature naturally in my house, naturally for the last day has been wanting to hover at about 77.1. And that's when my thermostat set to 78 meaning that the heater kicks on at 76.9 and the fans kick on at 80. So it's actually been hovering at the lower end of that spectrum since the change. And I can only attribute that to the lack of all those AC pumps that were in there before. Like I said in a pretty previous video, I had uh, four different pumps running in the back of this BioCube previously. And uh, now all that's being handled by the DCT 4000. So it's been really awesome. I will do probably one more update once I get everything back into place um, about this sump project. I'll continue to do videos about the aquarium, but uh, as far as the actual build. So this is part five, and uh, I will probably do one more in conclusion to show how like I tied all this stuff together and how it all gets done. My intent is to finish everything this weekend. So that's what I got. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.